Hello children, are you ready for the next story of Nritya Kathayen? Today I am going to tell you the story of the mouse and the mountain. In this, the mudras that I will be using are Mouse, Mukula Pataka for the clouds Pataka for wind and Pataka for mountain Alapadma for the sun So now, are you ready for the story? There was once a sage, Siddha Yogi, who used to live by the river bank. One day he was closing his eyes and meditating when a little she mouse started playing all over him. She went up and down and up and down and the sage opened his eyes and saw the beautiful little mouse. He took her in his hands and told the magic words Om Gleam Jeem Cham Chara Yuvika and blew life into her to become into a sweet little girl. What a beautiful girl! I shall name you Leela. Leela had eyes as beautiful as the lotus. She used to dance with the wind and sing with the cuckoo birds. She was a beautiful little girl and as the sage saw her, she slowly grew up into a young woman with a dazzling smile and teeth like pearls and face like the beautiful moon. He said, Leela, my daughter, I want to get you married to the mightiest of all beings. And who is that, father? Leela asked. Come. They both went to the river bank and closing his eyes, Siddha Yogi uttered the magic words. Om Bhaskara Yanamaha. Immediately, the sun appeared before him and said, My respects to you, O Siddha Yogi. What can I do for you? Siddha Yogi said, O son, you are the mightiest of all beings. You shine and give warmth and light to the earth. Will you marry my daughter? The son smiled and said, Your daughter is indeed beautiful, but I am not the mightiest of all beings. The cloud, he is stronger than I am. He covers me when I want to shine bright and makes the world all dark and grey. He is mightier than I am. Siddha Yogi nodded and took Leela to the cloud. He closed his eyes and remembered the cloud. Om Garjana Yanamaha the cloud appeared before him and bowed in reverence. What can I do for you, O sage? O cloud, you are the mightiest of all beings. You bring rain to the whole world. You cover the sun even. Will you do the honor of marrying my daughter Leela? For she is so pretty and so talented. The cloud said, Hmm. <laughs> Sage, I am indeed honored that you have asked me, but I am not the mightiest of all beings. The wind, 
He is mightier than I am, for he blows me wherever he wants to. The sage nodded knowingly and said, Come, Leela, let us go to the wind. He closed his eyes and remembered the wind. Om Vayudevaya Namaha. The wind god appeared before him and said, O oh, sage, you have remembered me. Is there anything I can do for you? Siddha Yogi said, Vayudeva, I hear that you are the mightiest of all beings, the strongest of them all. You are the one due to which we people on the earth breathe and live. You even blow the clouds away. Will you marry my daughter? The wind just smiled and said, O oh, sage, you are wrong. I am not the mightiest of all beings. The sage puzzled asked, Then who is? The mountain is. The mountain stands in my way. Whenever I want to blow in any direction, the mountain stops me. He is, of course, mightier than I am. The sage said, Yes, of course. Leela, come, let us go to the mountain. And there he stood in front of the mountain, which was standing mighty and tall. He said, My Respects to you, O mountain. I have come to you because you are the mightiest of all beings and to ask you to marry my beautiful daughter Leela. The mountain had a sad smile on his face. No, Siddha Yogi, I am not the mightiest of them all. The sage looked puzzled. Even Leela looked puzzled and she whispered in her father's ear, Father, I don't want to marry the mountain. He is always so still and standing in one place. Hmm, Leela, I am doing what is good for you. Oh mountain! Who is it who is more powerful than you are? The mountain smiled and said, The mouse. The mouse, with all his team of mice, they come and then with their sharp teeth, they gnaw into my sides and make holes. I just cannot stop that. Their teeth are so strong. The mouse is indeed more powerful than I am. The sage looked with a smile at Leela. He took his pot of water and said the magic words Om Gleam Jeem Cham Charaya Mushika. He blew in her direction and she turned back into the beautiful she-mouse that she was. He wed her to the most handsome mouse there was in the forest. So what did you learn from this story, my children? Always birds of the same feather should flock together. People of whom or are of a kind and of the same nature always go well together. So what are the mudras that I used in this story? What did I use to show the mouse? What mudra did I use to show the girl? And what mudra did I use to show the sun, the clouds, the wind and the mountain? कथाए नृत्य कथाए जनजीवन की विभिन्न कलाएं भाव राग तालों से दिखाने लाए हैं 
भाव राग तालों से दिखाने लाए हैं भाव राग तालों से दिखाने लाए हैं